Well hi folks and uh, thanks again for deciding to give this video a watch. Uh, in this video today I'm going to show you how I created the sequences for my uh, cover version of Only You by Yazoo. Uh, so this is going to be part one. Uh, in part two I'll show you how to use those sequences to, to make the song and also show you some of the lead lines that I played on top of it. So today we're just going to concentrate on showing you how to make these sequences on the Roland JDXi. So you hear, them, hear the, um, the introduction sequence playing in the background. Uh, that's then accompanied by um, a drum beat and a little bit of analog synthesizer. And then finally, uh, when the sequence does, when the song gets going, we've got this extra synthesizer sound that comes in. So that's basically what makes up the uh, the sequences that I created on the JDXi for this song, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So we'll stop that there, and we'll go to a blank sequence, or we'll make a blank sequence uh, up, and then we'll show you how to make them. So let's just erase what we've got in this one here. Make sure it's completely erased. That's all erased there now. So don't forget, if you like the stuff that I'm doing, I'd really appreciate if you consider subscribing to the channel. That would be great. And uh, thanks again for all the, the new subscribers too. It's very much appreciated. So, first things first. Uh, it's a standard 16-note pattern. Just one, uh, one measure to this, uh, to this uh, sequence. So quite simple in that respect. The time, uh, the tempo for it, is 106 beats per minute so you want to turn the tempo knob until you've got a 106 in the display there. So the first pattern I'm going to show you is that introduction pattern and the voice that I use for that uh, you can find that in the sequence bank and the voice is called just check my notes uh, SEQ2 or sequence 2 or sequencer 2 um, so just work through the the sound bank until you find SEQ2. There we go, SEQ2. So when you when you hit that sound uh, sort of out the box, it a bit too loud. Sorry, a bit too a bit too high. So we need to bring it down, bring it down to there. So we're actually in the standard position. Uh, it's there, so we need to take it up one octave to that position there. And the notes that I'm playing uh, for that, uh, it starts on this A note here, then it goes up to the up one octave to this A, and then down to the E, and then down to the C sharp. Okay, and that's programmed into this into the sequencer twice uh, in those 16 notes. So to do that. Press the A note, press number one, then the next, the uh, A one octave up, and press number three, down to the E, press number five, and the C sharp, press number seven, and then repeat it. So A on nine, A one octave up on eleven, E on thirteen, and C sharp on 15. Have a listen. Okay, now in, the, in my version of it I added some uh, echo on it as well and to do that um, I set the delay and reverb over here. Now the delay needs, needs tweaking so um, as it stands at the moment the, there, is, there is a little bit of delay on there but we want to change that delay uh, to a specific sound. So if you go into the menu and work through with the cursor till you get to Effects Edit, press Enter and then work through until you find Delay and the Delay Type needs to be set to Single. Okay, so use the value buttons here to change it to Single and then use the cursor to go to the Delay Time and that needs setting to what I've learned is a semiquaver. 
So if you can see it in the display there, it looks like that. Um, maybe I can just quickly draw it for you what the symbol looks like. So it sort of a looks like that. So that is the symbol for a semi-quaver. And that's what it looks like in the little display there. So let's, let's just play with that sound a little bit now and just uh, tweak it. Can you hear that little bit of delay coming in? That's what we're looking for. Okay, so that's that's that sequence or part of the sequence done. Just get out of the uh, effects edit now. Just press the exit button a couple of times. Uh, so let's do the analog synthesizer sound. Now the voice that I'm using for that is called. Again, just check my notes. It's called um, Bouncy Bass One. So let's work through the tones until we find Bouncy Bass One. There we are, Bouncy, Bouncy Bass One, zero two five Bouncy Bass One. And so the sound I've got at the moment sounds a bit too low. So it wants to be. Uh, we need it set to. Da, 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 plus one octave, so that's it, we've got one octave up and the notes, we don't need any effects on just the reverb on this one so those are the notes that I'm going to put into the sequencer, so it's the A, E and then the a one octave up and that just goes on positions one two and three so the A goes there the E goes there and the A octave up goes on three <coughs> excuse me and that will sound like this so that's that and okay and that's all that's all that one consists of the drums, um, I'm using a kit called the Noise Kit. Let's just work through the kits there and find the Noise Kit. There we are, Noise Kit 1, uh, 028 Noise Kit 1. And what I want on there is the um, Symbol 2, Symbol 2 and Symbol 3. So Symbol 2 uh, goes on... Um, Sorry, symbol 2 goes on position 11, symbol 3 goes on position 13, and sounds like this. And as well as that, we've got a drum sound that comes in, but the drum sound doesn't come in to start with. But to do this, we want this snare drum 2 sound on positions 5 and 13. And that will sound like this. Okay, but to start with, that snare drum wants to be turned all the way down. So all we all are here to start with are the cymbal sounds. Okay, and again, don't worry. I'm going to put all this in the notes uh, in the in the description at the bottom of the uh, of the screen. So finally, the final sound that we want is this uh, digital synth one sound and we're going to be using for that uh, the analog poly one. Now that can be found in the sequencer bank over here. Uh, so work through the tones until you find analog poly one. And similar to the uh, the analog synth sound, we're going to use, be using a similar sort of pattern in there with some extra notes. So to start with, uh, we want the octave switched up, and we're going to be using so those same three notes, that A, E, and A, going on one, two, and three. So. As well as that, we're going to put some bass in it as well. Now, to, to put the bass in, you can't do it 
uh, in this way, you have to record it in real time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shift the octave down. So we're down one octave, and the notes I'm going to put in are these. So we're going to start doing, um, going to pl we're actually going to play octaves this time. And it's going to go. So I'll just play it along so you can hear what it's going to sound like. So that's what we're going to record. So press the recorder, press play, and then get ready to join in. That's it. That's so again, the song will start just with the digital synth 2 sound, and then the, the drums and the analog synth will come in. And then the song will start. And then in, in the second verse, this sound will come in. But when that sound comes in, that's when we bring this snare drum sound in. Okay, so that completes it. Those are the sequences. Don't forget to save it. Um, now I suggest when you save it, you save it with the sound you want when the song starts. So that's just with Digital Synth 2 loaded up. And the drums, you want to, on the drums you want to turn that snare drum down. So that's how you want to save this sequence. So that's the first sound, sorry, the drums off. So that's how that wants to be saved. And if I go back to my original uh, programming for it, that's how I've got it on here. And the drums with the analog synth. So that completes it. Not bad. Twelve minutes. <laughs> one of my one of my quickest ones. So next time um, I'll show you how to use that sequence in the song and I'll show you some of the uh, lead lines to play over it and also some of the accompaniment as well that you might want to have a go at putting in if you've got the ability or facility I should say to to record it. Anyway you take care, I wish you all the best and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.